Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. Today's bedtime story is called Lighthouse, a story of remembrance by Robert Munch and illustrated by Janet Wilson. This, um, this story was copyright in 2003 and it's it's kind of a more serious Robert Munch story that's the title okay. in the middle of the night Sarah woke up put a flower in her hair, and went into her mother and father's bedroom. She sat on her father's side of the bed for a long time. Finally, he woke up and said, Sarah, what's going on? It's the middle of the night. Well, said Sarah, you always told me how Grandpa used to take you out to the lighthouse in the middle of the night, and this is the middle of the night, and tonight is the night to take me. Her father lay still for a long time, and then he said, Yes, I think this is the night. So they got dressed very quietly, went out to the car, and drove off. There was nobody else around. No cars were out, and the street lights made the sea fog glow. When Grandpa took me to the lighthouse, there were no street lights and there were no donut shops open in the middle of the night, said Sarah's father. But he would have stopped if there had been donut shops, said Sarah. Right, said her father. So they stopped at a donut shop and bought a bag of maple icing donuts and some coffee. They were the only customers there. When I was little, Grandpa used to give me coffee and it always tasted terrible, said Sarah's dad. So they both drank some coffee for Grandpa. Dad's coffee tasted good and Sarah's coffee tasted terrible. Then they drove out of town till they came to the road that led to the lighthouse. Grandpa always said we should walk up the road to the lighthouse, said Sarah's father. Right, said Sarah. So they parked the car and walked up through the fog to the lighthouse. Then they sat on top of the cliff above the beach and listened to the waves crash. They crashed on the rocks. Sarah ate the donuts and her father drank more coffee. All the times Grandpa took me with him, said Sarah's father, we never once went up to the top of the lighthouse. The door was always locked. We tried to open it, but there was, but it was always locked. I'm going to try the door, said Sarah. So she walked over and tried the knob and the door opened. Sarah and her dad stood looking at the doorway. What now, said Sarah. Grandpa would have gone up, said Sarah's father. So let's go up, said Sarah.
They walked up the winding staircase, round and round and round and round, until finally they stood in the middle of the light. I can see forever, said Sarah. Can Grandpa see me? I don't know, said her father. Can Grandpa hear me, said Sarah? And he yelled really loud, and she yelled really loud, Grandpa! They waited a long time. He's not going to answer, said her father. They stood for a long time and listened to the foghorn and looked at the mist and the ocean. Then Sarah took the flower from her hair, the flower she had saved from her grandfather's funeral, and threw it way out over the ocean. When I grow up, I'm going to have a kid, and someday we will come over here and in the very middle of the night, said Sarah. Right, said her father. And then, covered with dew from the fog and smelling like seaweed, they went home to bed. And this is what uh, Robert Munch said about this story. I wrote Lighthouse for a girl named Sarah who came up to me after a storytelling in Antigonish, Nova Scotia. She gave me this picture of a real lighthouse near town. All it said in the back was her name. Here's the picture. I wrote the story in the van on the way to the next show because something about the picture inspired me. Later, I tracked down Sarah by sending the story to the local librarian. Sarah, Sarah wrote back and told me that her grandfather had just died, and so the story was just right for her. All right, I hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.